What's that? Darren Stevenson's actually doing a video. No way. Hiya guys, sorry that I haven't done a video in like, God knows how long. I know, it's been a while. Probably like a month since I last, up, I last uploaded and it was only like one video before that I didn't even upload anything. But don't worry, I'm going to be back. Just want to be honest with you, to be honest. I actually thought about quitting. That's why I haven't uploaded in such a long time. Just going to be perfectly honest. I got a new job. Couldn't really juggle you gi on the job. Figured I needed to choose, make that decision to choose between whether to have a job or Yu-Gi-Oh! And then when I went to a Yu-Gi-Oh! event just to see friends, I just couldn't not play this game anymore. So I'll tell you what I've done. I'm going to start doing YouTube again. I'm going to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. I went to a couple of events, went to Knoxville, and I just got the taste for Yu-Gi-Oh! again. But I'll tell you what I've done. I bought a lot of stuff. Look at this. I bought lots of cases of this lovely set here. So I'm not going to like bitter on about how much I haven't played in a while. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack on one of these tins. So what I've started doing is, um, I've just bought a lot of these. These are going to go straight on my eBay. So these are going to go straight on my eBay. The link's in the description. Um, just going to chuck all the relevant stuff on, none of the like one pound stuff. Uh, but uh, any of the big hitters, like a uh, borrow sword and stuff like that, just going to chuck it straight on eBay. And just use the link in the description and stuff. And be sure to check it out, please. That'll be really, really nice. And so, first of all, for this particular video, I'm just going to open one uh, tin. Uh, just so I can go on into a bit more detail about the product itself. And then after that, I'm going to make another video where I'll open, like, a case and not really talk as much. And then you can, like, see what the sort of ratios are like for the cards and stuff. Because I think that'll be pretty cool. Uh, but for this tin in particular, I'll go a bit slow just so you can see what the actual product is like. Um, but I think the tin's like really cool. Like I think it's one of the best tin, well, it's the best tins we've ever had for sure. Uh, in terms of just the like actual quality of it. Like this is something that I definitely would like to keep. And also in terms of like an actual like Yu-Gi-Oh product. Um, it's probably the best Mega Tin I've ever had for sure because of the amount of reprints that are in here that are just insane. And in terms of sets as well, this is probably one of the best sets we've ever had as well just because like, Literally, like, every every reprint is so good, and it's just reprinted, like, every deck from, like, the past year, and it's just, like, insane. And that's why I just couldn't help myself but to buy, like, so many, because, personally, I'm going to keep a lot of this, because it's just a full of so much useful stuff. Um, like, full calls of, like, Striker, All the Geist, Thunder, and Crusadia, that I just think is just going to be great, so... I feel a bit rusty doing a video because I haven't done it in so long, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like I'm mumbling too much. Uh, so, this is how it's presented. You open the tin here and you've got like your little promo. Uh, it looks like I've just looked out and got the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. If you went to Worlds and saw the um, character duel, uh, Kaiba actually summoned it. I thought that character duel was really cool as well, if anybody actually like checked that out. So let's have a look and see what promos we got. I believe you're not guaranteed promos in this, uh, but that'll become more apparent when we open more uh, tins. So it looks like we've got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. You've got this new Exodia card, which he also played in the character duel, which he attacked a giant germ for game for. That was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> anyone else creased that I did, it was so funny. And you got this, like, Matt, one of the new uh, hand traps that are in the set that, like, were part of the uh, world exclusives and uh, the counter combo deck. So it's just a macro from your hand. And you get a nice cool monster reborn. That's like a nice prismatic rarity, which they uh, also tried to, uh, what's the word, uh, pimp out the, some of the new cards. Monster reborn is obviously like a good stable to have. And you've got Slife of the Sky Dragon. I think like, you get like, it, from the looks of things, you must get one of the world exclusives. You probably get these. Probably a Reborn or a Geki, I think it is, and then one of the God cards. And this is like one of the old jump promo God cards, and that's really cool, because this is like one of my favourite artworks of Slifer. Slifer is absolutely my favourite God card. Anyone else who thinks otherwise is wrong. <laughs> what do you, who's your favourite God card, Jason? Obelisk. It's of course Obelisk. We used to <laughs> have um, the God cards when we were little. We used to play loads, and uh, I would play this. I think I had Wing Dragon of Ra at first. So I thought that was like the best one, but it wasn't my favourite one. And then I ended up like acquiring a Slifer somehow, I can't remember. I think I traded, this is Swapsies. really stupid. I traded a Chaos Emperor Dragon and a BLS for a Slifer. 
and I never felt, uh, looking back, I've, I've never felt more ripped off in my life. But, like, whatever. So it looks like uh, I've jumped a gun and opened the packs already. So you actually get three packs. And you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards. Yeah, I always thought you got five in a pack. With 16 cards in a pack. Oh my god. I'm going to have so many cards, man. So they've reprinted some of the common stuff. Uh, so here's like the... Uh, just the typical stuff that they would have like reprinted, but like naturally the hollows is what uh, people care about more. But let's see if there's any cool comments in here that they've reprinted. This is a good one. Matrix is a pretty good comment to get. Um, I don't know about you, but I actually really like comments. Like I know there's like a few like common sky strikers in this set that's just like really cool. Uh, so this is like a highlight common for me. I'll put this to one side and then we'll get like the hollows. So. Strikers, uh, this in particular has got like, I wish it was common actually, but it's super print, it's quite nice. And these are some of the Thunder Dragons as well, this is quite good. So Dark pimp got a pimped out print, and it's like the new Prismatic uh, Secret. And you got Duo as well, which went from a Super No Ultra, so that's quite nice. Uh, so let's see uh, what else we get. So the commons, uh, I'm not going to fan out too much. Maybe uh, pick out like my favourites or something. Keep the promos here, put the hollows there. So like I say, three packs uh, put in. Uh, so I'm gonna get a lot of nonsense here. So uh, this is some more stuff. So you got like the UA, this, this, this. It's not honestly. There's not much I can say about uh, <laughs> the commons because uh, I don't know. It's just standard stuff. Oh, okay, Falco common. Okay. Uh, it would have been nice if it was hollow. No mind. Not not really any commons noteworthy there except Falco, I guess. But. Um, it's already a, a common print, so nothing too exciting. Uh, co commons are at their best when they were hollow before. As well, the hollows here. Oh, I, I got, got some pretty good ones here. So I've got the, the new um, Vendred. Uh, well, not new, but uh, the TCG exclusive Vendred cards. I wonder if these are going to get good with the extra pack that you're going to get. Uh, really good reprint here, Nightmare Unicorn. This was quite expensive when they didn't have a reprint, uh, but now... Getting one in the tins is just quite nice because it seems like it's quite easy to pull. And uh, Succession in a secret print, that's really, really good as well. I remember these, this shot up in price as well. I remember like the Ultra is like really expensive. Now let's get a nice little pimp. Seems like it's quite, um, from what I've seen anyway, I went into a local shop, uh, Geeker Street, Newcastle, and like somebody cracked open like a lot of tins, and I mean like a lot. And he did look like he pulled like a reasonable amount of stuff in a case as well. Uh, you'll see what sort of stuff I pull in my cases. Um, when I just fan out and like see what the sort of ratios is I get. Uh, but yeah, so what is uh, the rest? So an Octo Stretch, OG. Love Gokies. You probably would have guessed. Absolutely love my combo decks. And we've got any noteworthy commons here. I mean, there's never going to be a noteworthy common in every single set, so I mean, yeah, there wasn't really anything there that I particularly care about. And so the super, so the uh, hollow, so didn't really notice before, but I guess you get one super, one ultra, one secret. So you get Thunder, Thunder Dragon Fusion, that's quite a nice one. Reprodogus, I uh, don't really see a use for this card now that Summer Solstice is gone, but I remember this card being so daft. And this, so the uh, alternative Mech Knight card. So this particular tin isn't. Isn't that impressive at all? Uh, but it's it's cool. Um, this I quite like. This is probably my favorite um, one, just because it's secret and I love Thunder Dragons. But in terms of like a uh, good card utility, this being like an ultra rare is just really nice because it feels like it's like easy to pull, and it's just a, a good card to keep. Like I think a lot of this I'm probably gonna keep. This definitely. The rest is probably gonna go on my eBay, which I'll just remind you again. Link for the uh, my eBay store will be in the description. Uh, I think it's called Derry Jamstain for now, <laughs> which is like my old Xbox Live name. Pending whether to change it or not, probably not. I was thinking about changing my YouTube name as well, like Derry Jam Games or something. But like, oh, uh, like I, I'm just gonna keep it as Darren Stevenson. I'm, I can't be bothered to think any of it at all. Might change it. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below if you think if you think I should change it to Derry Jam Games. Derry Jamstain. I'll just keep it the same as Darren Stevenson, and that's the same for my eBay store as well. But check it out, I've already got some stuff on there already. So I've got like uh, old stuff that I've just like whacked on, a lot of like du Duos Power, if that's the set called on there, and a bunch of just other stuff that I just had lying around as well. 
And these tins, of course, are all, also going to go on as well. But like I say, um, the very next day, I'm going to upload a video of me opening this case. And then you'll then I can compare. Then you can have a look and see and compare it to what you've sort of pulled if you were to get like a case as well and see what the sort of ratios are per case. And you can like determine like which ones are like rarer than others. Like I'm pretty sure Borrel Sword and Engage have a pretty low pull rate, which is no surprise considering how daft those cards are. Well, to be honest, I was actually waffling there because I forgot how to close the video. Um, so, well, <laughs> I just feel so daft now. It's been so long since I've recorded a video, but uh, yeah, honestly, can't wait to record more. But cheers, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comments below about what, the things I've just mentioned before. And what's your favorite card out of the Mega Tins? Um, me, personally, um, I definitely love the um, Pimped Out Crusaders. Didn't get any here. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to show them off in when I open the case. Like, Magius, I think that's my favorite. Uh, but let me know what yours is. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.